When a law enforcement officer loses his life, often an entire community is there to pay respects. Next week, an entire nation will honor fallen officers in Washington, D.C. Wayne 15's Tony Sandlaven talked with the widows of three Fort Wayne fallen officers about what this trip means to them. Tony. Yeah, Kaitor, these women and their families are going to Washington, D.C. to honor their fallen husbands who were Fort Wayne law enforcement officers who died in the line of duty. They say that while losing their husbands has been difficult, it's created a bond between them that cannot be broken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I cannot tell you how much it helps to have Diane and Susie. I mean, they have become such close, wonderful friends. And, you know, I, I feel like I can talk to them about anything because they understand everything. Through tragedy, they found each other. Diana Cox, Chris Tinsley, and Susie Madison are all widows of fallen Fort Wayne law enforcement officers. Diana Cox's husband, Deputy Joe Cox, died in the line of duty two years ago. She's been to multiple ceremonies honoring a sacrifice. It's never easy, but each time, it matters. Um, he's worthy of honor. But, I've said this before, um, this isn't the most important thing to Joe. Um, Joe's worth came from Christ, <laughs> not in his name on a wall. So um, it's, it's, it's important to us that he's remembered and that he's honored because he is worth it. Diana is going to Washington, D.C. along with Chris Tinsley, whose husband died in the line of duty last year. Both men are having their names put up on the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial. I'm very proud of my husband and, and what he did, you know, his job and the way he helped people. but. It's, you know, the reason that I'm there is a very sad one. Diana and Chris both say they are nervous about this trip to D.C. Luckily, they have Susie. I have been two times. My first time in 2001, the year that Brad's name was put on the wall. And then I went the year after to just partake in National Police Week things that I wasn't necessarily aware that were going on the year that we were out there to honor Brad. The three of them are looking forward to honoring their husbands next week and are happy to have each other for what is sure to be an emotional time. I know that it's a good thing. It's just um, we know it's also going to be a hard thing. Chris, Diana, and Susie all say that you can help honor fallen, fallen law enforcement officers by letting your local departments know they are appreciated. Diana and Chris's husband's names will be engraved on the memorial on Monday. There will be various ceremonies there all next week. In Studio 15, Tony Sandlaven, Wayne 15 News.